Hello everyone, my name is Mayuresh Zoshi from office365notes.com. In today's video, we will see how we can call a function in Power Apps. We know that in any programming language, when we want to execute similar line of code, we used to put that code in one function and we used to call that function uh, uh, at different places. Similarly, in Power Apps, let's assume that you have a requirement where you want to execute some formula or some functions uh, at different places of your Canvas app. Let's say you have multiple screens with multiple buttons and on click of those buttons you want to execute some formula again and again. Instead of writing that formula at all, uh, all the buttons, we can write it at one place so that it will be easy to maintain in future if you want to change any uh, a formula inside that uh, a function you can easily do that so let's see how we can achieve this in power apps so here uh, i have two screens screen one and screen two so uh, my requirement is that i want to um, log the user um, uh, user actions in this audit list okay let me delete the previous records so uh, here is my audit list which has only one title column now whatever user perform uh, whatever actions user perform on uh, the screen one and screen two i just want to track the audit of that those uh, actions so uh, let me take one uh, button uh, let me take another one. So these are two buttons. Uh, let, let me call it as button 2 and button 1. Okay. Now uh, on click of button 1, I want to uh, create one record in this audit list uh, saying that button 1 is clicked. And on click of button 2, I want to create one more record. So uh, the general way is to just go to the on select and write patch function on audit list with defaults as audit list and I'll pass the title as button one clicked okay so uh, this is one and uh, uh, for button two uh, we will write the same I uh, will just change it to button two so let's check so when i'm clicking on button one the button one is clicked similarly button on click of button two it will say button two is clicked okay so this is just an example where uh, we are going to uh, generalize this patch function so that we will just pass this text as a parameter to our function so let's see how we can do that um, I will do I will take one a toggle control and here uh, we will set its default value as uh, var call function so this is let's say uh, this will be our boolean variable which we will use now we will set this boolean variable uh, instead of this patch will set its value And we'll just change the value. We'll use the same function over here. So what this basically is doing, it is just uh, changing the uh, value of this toggle function. Now this toggle function has on change event. So basically we will use this on uh, toggle control to write our uh, repetitive code uh, within our power app so here uh, we used to have this patch function here also so we will generalize this patch function on this toggle click and whenever needed we will call this function so let's copy this function and i'll put it under on change method now let's see uh, instead of passing this hard coded value here we will use one variable as let's say param1 this is the parameter 1 now we just need to 
change the parameters value so we'll use it like set param1 to button1 clicked okay similarly for button2 we will write button2 is clicked now you can see that we have generalized this patch function for in the on change event of the toggle so let's see if it works i'll delete these old records okay now i'll click on this button 1 also on button 2 so let's see two records are created yeah now another uh, advantage of using this is we can use this uh, same function in different uh, we can call this function from different screens as well so for example this is my second screen I'll use one more button over here and uh, uh, let me use the same code this one and I'll use it here I'll give the name as button 3 now the only thing which you need to uh, okay let me show you this will not work basically because uh, let me show you why so I, I have clicked on button 3 now if I refresh this you will see that it is not working this is why uh, th uh, the reason behind this is now as soon as I switch to screen 1 now it it will run you can see that uh, now that uh, third item is created okay so uh, the reason behind not working is uh, this toggle control actually this is a kind of limitation or this is the way the power app is developed uh, the toggle we cannot change the uh, uh, the the value or the trigger does not get triggered unless you uh, uh, link that control to that other screen or unless you switch to uh, switch in between the screens okay so to avoid this uh, error what instead of changing the value directly using this uh, same variable we will just use this toggle control so I'll copy that control and I'll change the value like like this okay so do this everywhere or at least on the uh, uh, different screens it was not needed here but definitely it is needed at uh, this second screen so let's try if it works now I'll click on button 3 now and let's see if it works you can see that it is working now we can have uh, some gallery control uh, let me give you one quick example as well so for example this is my gallery I'll put uh, the list I have one list over here power apps accordion yeah I'll use one label So these are my records from the gallery now I will put a one delete button okay now on click of this delete button also I want to uh, keep the audit of this action so if someone deletes the record I want to put his name and um, uh, the detail of that action over this audit list so to do that I'll just use the same thing over here and in on select method I will use this saying that item is deleted by here I'll give the name of that user okay now let's see if it works so I'll click on this delete button oh and before that I have to also delete this button 
sorry I have to delete this item so I'll use audit list in this item yeah so let's delete this item network error item not found I'm not sure if I'm doing the correct syntax. No. Anyways, let's assume that uh, you are deleting this item from here and uh, this should get reflected over here. You can see that the item is deleted by my Urage Soshi and all. Maybe my syntax is wrong but you can use this function inside your gallery as well. So uh, in this way, we can easily uh, create one uh, callable uh, functions in Power Apps as well. So this was a simple trick that I wanted to show, show you. So um, if you have liked this video, uh, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or if you have any uh, queries or if it is not working for you please do let us know in the comment section i will try to uh, respond to your queries and finally thanks for watching have a nice day